know that I have to endure and my son has to see his mother go through. And I, if I didn't fight, I wouldn't be here right now. If I didn't believe in God and if I didn't trust God, I wouldn't be here right now. It would have prospered. So to be that evil, to want a man to yourself that bad that I don't even want, is crazy to me. To sleep at night, knowing what you did, knowing that this man is stressing because he can't see his child and you play a role in the reason why he can't see his child because of the way you are because of the things that you do and the things that you say so his dad was in jail he never even called his son he never mailed him a birthday card he never mailed him a christmas card he never did anything to keep no type of contact because she said so so she'll come to my house like hey he wants to talk to his son but she has to be there Mind you, I'm in a relationship. Why do she have to be present when you're calling your son? Why do she got to be on the phone when you're calling your son for three minutes? You can't call your son as a man, but you know, that's part of him. You know, he's been, he's been weak since I was with him. And this is, you know, some people are weak and some people are strong because as a man, you're not telling me if I could call my son. You're not telling me what I could do with my child. This is my child. My kids come first right now. Anybody could go. When it comes to these kids, anybody could go. Like, all best is all. Anybody could go. So, he never called his son. Never, no birthday cards, no nothing. So then, she texts my phone, me and her arguing, because she stole my son's iPad. She stole his iPad. She fought, what's, Listen, right? My son left his iPad over there. So this is where I tell people when I say the picture was Photoshop. If you could see, if you look at the legs and how the picture was, this picture was Photoshopped. <laughs> this girl was mad. She felt out me and his dad was dealing again. That's just the moral of the story. That's the truth. There's no lies. We already discussed this. I'm not trying to be up here talking about how we messed in because I'm, I'm not here for that. But this is what she found out. She had my son iPad and yeah, I shouldn't have my stuff linked. Um, you know, I had my iCloud because, you know, kids, he like, I need an iCloud for him to download the game. So I just downloaded my iCloud, not knowing it's going to back up all my photos, all my stuff to his iPad. So this is what I tell people, you know, she was sending me news and, you know, she was texting me like, you know, trying to mess around and stuff like that. Um, you know, they want to do threesomes and, you know, things like that. And I've denied it all. Um, declined it. I just had no interest in doing things like that with these people. Um, I was not interested at all. They know it's the truth. Um, and I'm also going to link the pictures right here. If you see, this is her sending me messages of girls rubbing each other private parts. Um, you know, wanting to mess with me when he's in jail. Um, and you know, when he came home, I've showed and shared these pictures with him. Because it's always like, I'm upset, I'm mad. But you people wanted me. You know, I had no interest in you guys. I didn't want y'all. And I still don't. Um, you know. So... This is what I'm saying. So she found out me and him still had Dylan's. Um, I showed her proof, you know, um, you know, even on his son's birthday. She didn't come. He came to his dad showed up, came to his son's birthday. She kicked him out that night. She kicked him out that night. She kicked him out on his son's birthday. Why did you kick him out? Because you wasn't there. You She has to be involved in everything. It's like this obsessive things with my son. She she has, and then she goes on her page. She's always sharing little boys, and she's be saying, "I can't wait to give him a son." Like why everything is a son? Everything is so much of a son because you feel like if you give him a son, it'll take away from the son that he already has, and all the attention to be on your child. So then, when his dad was in jail, um, she had a recording playing. And people that was following him, no, I can't make this up. Um, if I, I believe I still have the recording. And she said, um, whatever she said to his dad, and his dad said, don't worry. When I come home, you're going to give me my son. That was strange to me. Um, they put it on social media. This is when we used to be going live. We used to be arguing. I mind you, I'm only addressing this because you, you played with witchcraft. You wouldn't play with a doll. I'm not never playing with a doll to get a man to love me. I'm not never doing that. I don't have to go play with a doll or 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 none of that type of stuff. Like, go play with candles. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't even mean to laugh. Because this is sick to me. Imagine if I just go, like, 
light a candle, make him love me. Or go play with a doll and put pictures, make him love me. Make, like, I would never do that. Like, I'm not going that far of an extent to make somebody care about me or love me or stay with me forever, make them stay with me forever. Like, you went and go played with something to make me and my son. And that's why it makes sense to why me and my son caught COVID twice. Me and my son had the flu. My boyfriend had nothing. He had none of this stuff but live in a house with us. And they said the reason why he didn't have nothing because it wasn't sent for him. It was sent for me and Duda. So that's why me and Duda kept getting sick. Me and Duda kept going to the house. Like, are you serious? And you sit there comfortably pretending that you love this man. And you you know what you did. You could play like that with him. You could play with those people, play on the internet, go try to make it seem like I'm bitter, I'm mad, I'm angry. I sat here and I ain't even cuss. I am at peace. But the people are going to know what you did. People are going to know what you've done. And you're going to know that I know what you did. It's one thing to do it to me like I say you did it to my son. A little boy that you pretend that you love. They, you, you, your child is his sibling. How do you sleep at night? As a woman, how do you sleep? And one day your day is going to come. Trust me, you can never get away with doing evil things. So then she texts my phone when we get into an argument. I'm going to put it right here. The message. You mad, he don't call you and your son, he never will. What type of female says that? My son was affected by his dad going to jail. I had to deal with that. What type of female talks like that about a kid, but they said they love their father? I showed his dad the messages. He said to me, there's nothing you could say or show me that's going to make me believe that she doesn't like my son. I show him all the messages. So now I get a phone call. Mind you, I'm still trying to co-parent with him, still trying to be cordial because I know he like to play with the cords. So I'm like, let me just, you know, be cordial. Let me just like, I don't want to put Duda on none of this. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? My son going over there. So then my son like don't want to go with his dad. I'm like, why you want to go with him? And he... His dad is saying, like, every time I'm trying to call for him, he don't want to call me. So I'm, like, telling him, like, why you don't want to come? You know you hurting your dad's feelings. Why you don't want to go? He like, because they make me sleep on the floor. Yeah, y'all, now y'all tripping. Like, my son got a big bed over here. Like, TV's on the wall. Like, why he on the floor? So then I call his dad, like, hey, you know, Duda's having a recital. Um, Can you come? He like, nah, I ain't going to be able to come because she couldn't come. But then when we go on social media... He's with his daughter at the school and she posts it because me and her friends at the time. Um, you know, we got each other on, as friends on Facebook and she he she posts him with his daughter the same day. So my son see it, he like, but how he get to go with her, but he didn't come. I'm like, dude, I like it's good. Like, you don't trust me. Like, my me and my boyfriend was there. We screaming front row for you. You got a good stepdad. Like, you don't gotta worry about nobody doing nothing for you that don't want to be a part of your life. They don't want to be a part. So he can't do nothing with his son by himself. He's already made that clear to me. So even right then and there, as a man, come on now. You can't even go to the Chuck E. Cheese to which your son by yourself. You can't do nothing with your son unless she's involved. When he was in jail, she had to do the three-way. She had to be the one to come to my house and put the phone on speaker so she could hear everything. That's how intimidated she is by me. You had to go play with a doll to try to kill me, to try to kill my son. So you, could have, you have this man. I'm begging y'all right now, y'all watching, to leave us alone. If you love your son, leave us alone. We want to be left alone. He does not want to come with y'all. He does not want to be a part of nothing with y'all. Y'all are evil people. Y'all work for the devil. Y'all are demonic. You're laying with a witch and you don't even know. I challenge you. I got $5,000 cash. Go to a church. Let the church record you. Let whoever you with record you. Have the pastor come over to you. I bet you got witchcraft on you. You don't even know. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Because I already pray for you because you're in a danger zone. And then I don't want you to come to me later on and you'll be like, damn, I should have listened. I'm t I got 5K for you. You'll get full rights to your child. You better get away from that witch. 
because she got witchcraft on you this is why you took your son off your page you got two kids there's no reason why you got one child on your page i'm not just gonna put me as my background and not put duda my son is off his page completely he took my son off his page so you want me to trust you as a parent you against us so then i get a phone call my cousin called my phone she like i got something to tell you so i'm like what's going on she like so you know my cousin began her nails done by your baby father girlfriend so i'm like yeah what happened she like she's saying that dude i stole her debit cards and was sending you the numbers to the debit cards so now he's a scammer how would an eight-year-old know how to send pictures of a front and the back of a debit card send it to my phone and my son don't even have a phone first of all he don't have a phone no more so that's number one that's a lie how but then this is what she do though she makes up stories this is what she do this ain't the first time she had me in court saying that i maced her daughter i never maced nobody like they threw it out i had to pay a lawyer silverstein shout out to him i had to pay a lawyer to go down to the courts because she said that i maced their daughter and they wanted hospital records and she had no proof of no type of hospitalization talking about she rinsed her eyes out with water you can't rinse out a child's eyes with pepper spray with water you stole my son's iPad, edited a picture, like I told his dad, what's the odds of somebody finding an iPad, right? Let, let's all, let's sit here, right? Let's sit here. What's the odds? Because his father and him said that it got lost. So if somebody found the iPad, because shit got to make sense to me. If somebody found the iPad, what's the odds of them knowing a the password? Okay. And if they go factory reset it, everything gets deleted. So how do the pictures get leaked? Can I buy a vowel? Can I buy a vowel? Oh, okay. This is what I'm saying. This is all lies. This is how the picture got leaked. She photoshopped it to put a picture, to put like I had a bump, to make it look like I had herpes. All of that was photoshopped. I don't have no diseases. Only diseases that I was diagnosed with was what the doctors told me about my lungs and asthma and heart and all that type of stuff. Anything other than that, this is what she did. She put all of that stuff on the internet and I still forgave her after that. We had a conversation. I forgave her. Like, it's, it's like when I say it's a lot, she had a weird obsession with me. Like, and I used to always wonder because we used to like try to, you know, chill. They used to call me. Like, come to the bar. Like, where you at? Like, come to the bar, pop out. I'll come to the bars with them. I used to be like, why they always want to? Because y'all know what happened with me and my son's father. The situation, the big situation um, that I don't even want to talk about. So, you know, yeah, but this is why. So, I used to go to the bars and, you know, she had a weird obsession with me. So, one day she was doing my nails. She asked me, you know, can she, you know what? Like, give me some head. And I'm like, you know, no. I'm like, the kids right there. She like, just really quick. And I'm just like, no, because, you know, I had no interest, you know, in that um, with them. So, you know, I used to be like, you know, why every time I'm at your house, you take like two hours to do my nails. Y'all know I used to promote her. Um, you take like so long to do my nails. She was like, I like spending time with you. Um, so I'm going to post some messages here for y'all to read. See, like it's not to make up nothing. I'm not mad about nothing. I'm not jealous. It's just like you want to go play with some shit to make me and my son life end. I... I <laughs> I'm doing a video. This is how far I've come in life. How mature I am. Because if y'all know, y'all know. So me just doing this video is just like, whew. Because baby, okay? You did witchcraft on me and my son. You hate me that bad over a guy. Because what? You don't really feel like you got him? So, so then. Then. You know, females know deep down inside. And I'm going to just leave that there. Um, you know, then we just got into a... Oh, let me go back. My cousin called. She said that about the debit cards. And then she's like, I'm, so then we ended up all being on a three-way. Me, her cousin, and her. So we on the phone too. She's like, yeah. She was like, yes, son. And she came when I went to my nail appointment. She was like, what you think I should do? Dude, I was a disrespectful little boy. He be telling me I'm not his mother. He be yelling at me. He stole my debit cards. He sent them to Nunu. All this made up stuff. Just like she said, I made her daughter. All this stuff is made up. 
like you just sit there making up stories then it's gonna say i don't feel bad for nunu being sick that's what she get all the stuff she did to me like i did nothing to you <laughs> like i don't know these people make up delusional these people are crazy as you can see they play with voodoo they play with dolls they play with witchcraft puerto rico this is what they do i'm not this like you know i know a lot of people from puerto rico and they have confirmed the same things this is what they do i don't know what you gave your grandmother who, or you did it yourself whatever you want to go over here to do on the islands you try to send to destroy me try to send to destroy my son you should be ashamed of yourself as a woman to sit there and act like you love his father to sit there and act like you love him and you know deep down inside you hate me and you hate him and my son will never come with y'all. Ever. I don't care about no summons. I don't care about courts. I don't care about nothing. When it comes to protecting my child against evil people that want to see him dead. And his father can't realize because he's over there on Voodoo 9. Because he's over there brainwashed. And he don't even realize that he got this on him. Cause he was a good dad before now i don't know what happened so this makes sense to me to why he lacks as a father it makes sense to me to why he's so evil and he's like he don't even care about his son no more like he never used to be like this with his son like even when he on the phone he yelling at him screaming calling him nigga and all this stuff that i had to address things before and then my son be like every time i go with my dad he don't pay me no mind like he don't give me no type of attention or nothing like this is what you do because you're so one day it's gonna sit it's gonna make sense to you i hope it's today I hope it's today that this makes sense that something clicks in your head and say okay it's one thing for somebody to be mad it's one thing for somebody to be bitter i'm none of that and y'all know that but y'all gonna paint the narrative that i'm bitter i'm upset i'm mad why maybe because y'all got married that's what y'all gonna go try to say i know congrats by the way again because i did tell y'all congrats um no you're laying with a witch and she probably did voodoo to make you propose because <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not going to say too much about that because I just don't want to know, oh, she's mad. She's this ain't even about that. I am mad. I'm mad that you, his dad is sitting here choosing another female over his child. Um, I would never choose a man or nobody over my kids. Nobody. Everybody could go. And I mean that respectfully. So we got into an argument recently. I'm going to play it for you guys. I'm going to play it. I have my Bluetooth charged up. I'm going to play this for you guys. Um, we got into an argument because I called his dad. I'm like, what's going on? Like, you know, this chick had an L appointment. And she's telling me that your girl is saying X, Y, and Z about my son. I don't understand why my son being talked about in an L appointment. Because I'm on a hundred when I'm saying this. Like, I'm, I'm new, new right now. Like, yeah. Like, what's up? Like, well, what you talking about? Da, 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 da. So she gets on the phone. We arguing back and forth. The first thing that comes out of her mouth. That's why you got to walk with a machine. Mind you, she, she's on speaker. I'm sitting here with my son. That's why you walk with a machine. That's why you sick. That's why you need a machine for walking and all this stuff. I said to her. So my son, instantly, his eyes started watering. And he said something. I don't even want to repeat what he said. Because we had to pray after that. He was really upset. He was like, I'm never going with them again. I'm never going over there with her again. I don't like her. Why would she say that to you? You, like, at the end of the day, no matter what, we go through I don't want to see nothing happen to nobody, especially your mother. I could claim, oh, I love this child, but you want his mother to be dead. What does that do for my son? You're laughing on the phone with his dad saying, that's why I can't walk. That's why I'm walking with a machine and that's why I'm sick. This is what they're saying to me. I'm like, but you was in a nail appointment talking about my son. Like, this is what I'm saying. You weird. Like, you sitting here talking about an eight-year-old little boy. You obsessed with his mother. You, like, come on. And then y'all try to say, like, I'm, I'm not jealous of nobody. Because, like, I mean. Jealous for what? It's nothing to be jealous of. So this is why I never used to post my daughter. This is why I never was posting my daughter because all this witchcraft, all this stuff that like everything that makes sense now that I'm explaining in the video. Like I never post my daughter because I'm like they could play with pictures. They could do all of this crazy stuff like you really that evil. You really that upset. You're really that angry deep down inside. Like, cause you really want to be me. Like, you you really wanted that witchcraft to work. That's why you was on the phone yelling. That's why you walk with a machine. That's why you need a machine to walk. 
Yeah, but you ain't know I was going to walk this walk though with God. That's what you didn't know. You ain't know I was going to walk it down. You ain't know I was going to be able to sit here and talk without a machine. Walk without a machine. Do a lot without a machine. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. If God is with me, who could be against me? So I'm not scared of your little witchcraft antics. You will go play with 30 more dolls. 50 more puppets. Whatever y'all do. Go light candles. Whatever you got to do. I'm prayed up and I'm covered. But see, when we was on the phone and they was arguing, they were saying what they were saying. I said, my son, I'll come with you no more. Do what you got to do. I'm keeping my son home for you to be in an appointment. And the lady telling, the lady is saying, this is how I know his father got witchcraft for him. Because he's seen the messages of the lady saying that she said this. And then, then they confirmed that she do get her nails done with her. I showed them all the messages, all of that. This lady confirmed everything. You still chose to believe your girlfriend. They ain't going to say to me, there's nothing you can say or show me. I showed them all the messages of her sending me, her wanting to have sex with me. Her talking about our son, talking about something. You mad? He don't call you or his son and he never will? But you love my child? You don't love him. All this pretend stuff that you're trying to put out there for social media then. Let's talk about this. When they're laughing, they're doing all of this on the phone. Whatever the case may be, she on the phone. My husband, my husband, I said to her, you're not his husband. You're not the wife. My son not obligated to be around you. He don't have to be around you. You're just a girlfriend. He don't have to be around you or nothing. I said to my partner, watch they try to get married because I started saying she the girlfriend and all this stuff. She was heated on the phone. Like, I'm like, you don't have no ring, no nothing. What happens the next week? If I'm lying, I'm flying. They got married or engaged the next week then the week after i get a i gotta go to court also he could say my wife because he knew last time when we went to court your girlfriend thing ain't holding no weight my son i obligated to be around nobody even a wife a mother a grandmother nobody he not obligated to be around nobody but his mother okay i'm gonna need y'all to know that He's not obligated to be around nobody. So to go get married, to just go to court and be like my wife, it's crazy. This is all like, like I can't make this up. It look stuff could look genuine on the internet because I'm not saying nothing. I'm just sitting back. I have not yet to speak. When I went to church and that pastor confirmed everything with me, I said I'm I'm speaking on this. You did witchcraft on me and my son. You are evil. You need to repent. And you're going to pay for what you did. Just remember that I said this. You're going to pay for what you did. Everything that's still in the iPad. All the stuff that you did. Pretending. All of it's going to backfire on you. People play evil. You can play like his dad. Like you love his son. All this stuff. You can act like you feel bad. You lay in that bed every day with that man. And you know you're part of the reason why he can't see his child. And you're okay with that. As a woman, own your shit. I've always been good for owning and taking responsibility for anything that I did. Stop trying to paint it like I'm mad. Stop trying to paint it like I'm bitter. Stop trying to make it like I'm angry over somebody I left. He didn't leave me. I left him. So I don't get the whole mad nothing. I, you know what I'm mad about? I'm mad that he's not awake. I'm mad that he's on voodoo nine and he can't see through the BS that you're doing. So my son heard what they said. So, you know, the, the tongue is powerful. Y'all sat there, y'all laughed at me being sick. His stepfather died shortly after. And my deepest condolences to the family. I had nothing but love for him. Um... My point is you got to watch what you say to people. Y'all laughed on the phone about me being sick. And then his stepfather passed away from a sickness. You got to be careful of what you say, of what you do. Because laughing at me being sick, God don't play about me. What type of baby father sits there laughing 
Then I said, her my son don't like you. She said, I don't care if your son like me. He don't got to like me. Mind you, his dad is sitting right there. She like, his dad don't do nothing for him. His dad don't do nothing for him. I do everything for your son. Y'all don't even have my son enough for anybody to say they do anything for my son. Anything anybody do when then we go to his dad's house. He has to take the clothes off. That his dad buys them. And he has to put the clothes on that I sent them with. And he has to come back home. All of this stuff is just like bizarre. His dad was in jail. My son wanted his dirt bike. He had a dirt bike. I can't make this up. But people that follow me, y'all know when I posted I bought my son a new dirt bike. My son was crying for that dirt bike. Nah, you know, like, nah, when I come home, three and a half years, my son is going to outgrow that dirt bike. So, you know, we had to go get him a new dirt bike. Brand new title, everything. You know, buy a new dirt bike. You know, all that stuff, like, as y'all can see. Got him a new dirt bike. You know, small thing to a giant. Money ain't never nothing. Um, but the fact that you didn't want your son to have a dirt bike because it was going to... Like, what would I do with the dirt bike? Everything is because of the mother. This is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Everything is, if you genuinely love your child, you're going to do anything to make... Why he have to take sneakers off when he's coming home? He don't live with you. Why he has to take sneakers off? Why he got to take them off? He can't just get his sneakers because you bought them? No, because this is what I'm saying. Everything is to hurt the mother. You think that you're hurting me. You're only hurting your child. Now my son is old enough. He's eight years old. He has emotions. This ain't before when we used to go to court and he was two and he couldn't talk for himself. He is eight years old. He doesn't want to come with you. Anybody can ask him. They heard, he heard y'all laughing at his mother that he watched fight for her life every single day. He watched me sick and y'all sat there and laughed at me and talked about don't I take meds and go take my medications and all this stuff that y'all was on the phone laughing about. He heard all of that. Why would he ever want to come with you? You don't call your child Christmas, nothing. You don't call, you didn't buy him anything. You don't do nothing for him. And you haven't done anything for it. You try to go on a social media and pretend like you want to fight for him. This is all just because you don't like me. As you can see, I still didn't go to child support. I don't pay you no mind. Um, you're like, I would really like pay you to leave me alone. Like, what's the cash offer? Because at this point, um, you know, I want us to, we want to be left alone. He's a, he has emotions now. Before it used to be like, she bitter, she mad. Now you can't paint that narrative when you have a child that doesn't want to go with you. When you have a child that looks at you different. When you have a child that wants no parts of you, of your girlfriend. And my son expressed that he doesn't like her. And you still, when I let my son come with you that one time, you still let her be around my son. When I asked you, the agreement was... If you love your son, have a relationship with your son. Why every time you with her, she got to be with your son? Why you can't ever be by yourself with your son? That's weird to me that you can't just go on a father-son date with your son. I'm not there. I'm on the machine, right? Dang, that's the same. I'm sick, right? I'm not there. I have my own relationship. Why every time you with your son, she got to be with y'all? He expressed that he don't like her. He heard what she said on the phone about me being sick. And I still let you be a father after that. I still let you take your son after that. I waited like a month. I let you see your son after that. I said, the deal is, you are not to feed my son anything he follows a vegan diet. Don't feed him anything that comes from an animal. And you are not to let him be around your girlfriend. He doesn't want to be around her. He heard everything she was saying about me being sick. About me walking with a machine. Then she going to say, yeah, because when people do stuff to me. I do stuff 10 times worse. Yeah, we know, voodoo queen. You do stuff 10 times worse, you go play with dolls and candles and witchcraft, whatever they do to do what they got to do. To want me and my child dead, to want me and my child to not be here on earth, that's deep to me. My, I would never want my son to be around y'all. I would never want my son to be around nothing that has to do with y'all. Y'all are evil. And like I said, at the end of the day, this right here, it, it's, it's not to bash nobody it's just to show y'all like it's really females out here that i hate you so much they'll go to whatever extent to hurt you even if it's hurt if it's hurting your child like so i'm not gonna allow my son to be around people that hate his mother i used to do that i used to be like oh you know they just hate me 
But that, that don't make sense to me. How you can hate me, but claim that you love what's attached to me, but you love my child? Nah, I don't work like that. You hate me, you don't like my child. And that goes for anybody. You can't have, because if you hate me, what, what extent would you go to to hurt me? Harming my child? I can't afford that kind of hell. And that's what I explained to his father. So, as soon as my son get back with me, after I let him go with his dad, as soon as he get back with me, mind you, when he picked him up, there was nobody in the car. It's just him and his dude. So, he get back with me. I'm like, you had a good time? He like, yeah, I had fun. I was with my cousin, whatever. So, he like, but my dad um, had his girlfriend with, um, around me. And um, he said, give her a hug. And I was like, I don't want to. He was like, what I say? First, don't make my son have no type of... It could be my mother. If my son don't want to hug nobody, he don't have to hug nobody. He already expressed to you that he don't like this lady. Why would you have him around her? And the agreement was... See what I'm saying, y'all? He can't do nothing without her. Everything has to be her. She has to be there with him, with his son. So is this relationship really based upon you and your son? Do you really genuinely want a relationship with your child? Or that's the, just the narrative you paint for, for Facebook? For social media to make it look like I'm bitter. Because I'm the popular baby mother. I'm the baby mother everybody knows. So you want to paint this narrative like for views or likes or make it seem like, oh, I'm taking her to court. Do you really even want to see your child? Because I'm cool. I ask for one thing. Do not have this girl, two things. Not have this girl around my child after she disrespected me. And said not feed him anything. And you did both. My son came home saying he had all types of cheese doodles or he was sick. When a child has not had this type of stuff in their system, you will get them sick. So my son was sick and I had to deal with that, right? Because maybe you think it's a game or whatever you think. Oh, he can't eat this. Oh, she's just saying that or whatever. Come on now. Then to every time you with your child, you have to be with her. That's weird to me. You can't have no type of relationship with your child. Just you and him. Y'all boys. Y'all can't go get haircuts together. Y'all can't go to a game together. She has to be there. Like, you didn't even have a conversation. You wasn't even man enough to have a conversation with your son and say to him why he feel how he feel. After I told you he don't want to be around her. How, why he feel how he feel. What's going on? Let's get down to the bottom of this. Talk or whatever. Like, all this stuff. My child has emotions. He don't want to be around people that was laughing at his mother being sick. He watched me go and he watched me fight for my life every single day. That hurt him. He couldn't believe that he heard y'all saying that. And I had to explain to him that it's some evil people in this world. And sometimes it's the people close to you. As a father. So let me play the audio for you guys. I don't want nobody to think, oh, you made, like, we had a whole back and forth on the phone about this laughing situation. How they were laughing at me. How they were thinking it was so funny that I'm sick. You are my child's father. Sick and all, I never call your phone. Sick and all, I never bother you. I never asked you for nothing. I never told you to come again. When I was in the ER, my boyfriend does this. He's been taking care of your son for years. Literally for years. Taking care of your child. Your child. Like I said, there's females that's out here that uh, do whatever to hurt you, to harm you. As you can see, this girl put witchcraft on me and my child. This is serious to me. This is nothing to play with. And I'm handling this as maturely as possible because to know that's like knowing somebody try to kill your child. You find out who the hit me is, but the, the, the shit didn't go through. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. You, you tried to harm my son. <laughs> but you love his father. And this is who his father chooses. To marry? This is who you choose to lay down with? Somebody that don't like your child and you want me to trust you as a parent? And you laid up, you couldn't even defend my son. Telling me I'm lying, nobody called me. Even when the lady confirmed that she said all oh, this in an eloquent, you still chose your girlfriend. So how could I trust you as a, as a parent? When you already picked your side, now you got a lady here. And you got to stay here. You picked your side, bro. Nobody come before my kids. It's not that much sex in the world. It's not that much love in the world. I'm not that weak. To sit 
sit here laid up with somebody, something in your head got to click. Something got to make sense. All the screenshots, her saying all the stuff she was saying when you was in jail, not letting you call your son when you was in jail. You didn't call your son not one time on your own. You never called him. Come on now. Something in your head got to click. Take the whole baby mother bitter out your vocabulary. Put all that to the side. One plus one equals two. Stuff got to make sense to me. All this makes sense. The sickness, the diseases, the witchcraft. The this. Why me and my son kept getting sick. He kept getting sick and he kept getting sick. And he wasn't getting no better. Y'all crazy. And you laying there as a me as a father. And I know you watching this. I pray God have mercy on your soul. I pray that you wake up. And you realize what's going on around you. Like you can't be this blind. Come on now. Go to church. I challenge you. Go to the church. I bet you they're going to tell you that you got it on you. I bet you they're going to tell you that you got witchcraft on you. I bet you. I bet you. Because the girl told me that she got it on you. You think, oh, they love Y'all going to try to paint this narrative that I'm mad and I'm bitter about uh, whatever. I don't know. Please don't try to use the marriage. Please, just just please. I, I, like, my son has been disrespected. Like, I don't even play when it comes to my son. I don't co-parent with y'all. Even when they jumped me and put me in the hospital, I don't forgave. I don't forgave. I don't forgave. I am tired of playing with fire. And I, I done got burnt for real this time. So to sit there laughing at me, so I'm going to play the audio for you guys. I recorded our phone conversation. Yes, I did. Because they like to lie. So listen to what I'm saying to him. Yeah. And you can't really hear him because... It's so low, this iPad is broke. It got water damage. Hello, yeah, so like I said before, the first time I was to when I was home, I feel like financially, I've been taking care of dude by myself. I don't, I'm not the baby mother that call your phone. I don't never bother you. This bitch is out here that call their baby father like, my son needs sneakers, my son needs this. I handle everything with Duda. I don't never call your phone. In eight years, you can never, ever say Nunu called me and said, can you buy Duda something? Never. I have never done that. He's getting big. He's older now. You get to do what you do, live your life, and I just got, like, if you was a real baby father, then as much as y'all sit around laughing about, oh, oh, you sick, then, like, your, your stepfather just passed away from a sickness, to sit around laughing about your child's mother going through a sickness or going through whatever she's going through, I take care of your son. Sick and all. I still don't call your phone bothering you. Machine or not, I still never bother your phone. This is me being real right now. Fuck the arguing, the yelling, the screaming. If you was a real nigga, you would be like, yo, let me see if my baby mother needs something. Like, she on the machine, she going through whatever she going through health-wise. Then you just lose somebody for going through some health shit. So you should already know how this shit feel. My son lives with shit every day, mom. Machine or not, you can never say no black as a mother. I do this shit. Are you really a lie like that? What what last you ever spent on my son? My stop lying. That's the type of person I am? I'm a person that sit there. Yo, you're crazy. No no do it by herself. In real life. But that don't stop you as a father. But my money don't got nothing to do with you. It's still your responsibility. You always talk about take, take, take him. What about the finance? What about clothes? What about the finances? What about him needing a new wardrobe? What about stuff that Mark don't do as a father? You so busy trying to, oh, oh, if, if his clothes go over there, what's going to happen? Why do you keep his clothes at your house? He don't live there. If you buy do that something, his clothes should be where he resides. He lives with his mother. That don't make sense that you buy him stuff and it stays with you. It's all malicious shit. Just like, why won't you get your son phone fixed, but you want to talk to your son? You want to talk to dude, all right? Why you don't go spend a little 200 to get phone fixed? You say, oh, not today. You don't do nothing else for the little boy. She was on the phone screaming, saying, I do everything for your son. Mars does nothing. Like, come on now. And I, and I could have been petty like, let me go. I'm the, I'm the cool baby mother. Cool mother, mother you like stuff. me or Janelle is like me. I'm the baby mother that don't bother you. I don't blow you up. I ain't never asked you for nothing in eight years. Be real right now. I take care of my son. Machine, I ain't never say Mars. 
I need you to take Dude out. I need mean, I'm in the yeah, I does this. Me and Ani been doing this shit. Been doing this. He's like, we've been doing this. So like now I'm to the point where I'm, I'm not like, mad about nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm mad because of you and Janelle. I like you. You didn't leave me. Hello. So I don't know where y'all get this confused that's so where Noodle's mad. I'm not mad. Congratulations on your engagement. Congratulations on everything. I want respect to be drawn when it comes to my son. That's I it. want my son to be safe. I don't want to I don't want to do that going over and I can't sleep that night. I don't want my son going nowhere and I'm worried about somebody doing something because they hate his mother. Sure. You understand what I'm saying? I do this shit because I'm a parent. You can't say I'm mad about nothing. They jumped me. Put me in a hospital. I still let y'all have do that. So you can never say no man. Because nobody ever thought I should let you ever be a father again. My family against me and co-parenting with you. I always argue like he still need his father. You, you can call me a I still try. Even just now. It's inconvenient to me. I'm on a machine. I got laugh about But you all got to go away to say, hey, I got to go away to the whole other side of town. I'm on a machine. I got my daughter. I'm sitting in fucking McDonald's for 45 minutes. Did I slip out? I still let you take your son today. So stop with this noodles mad. Because I be trying to get what y'all saying I'm mad about. This girl, I sent you the messages. People come to Nunu. I don't bother nobody. Oh, why is mom Brooklyn saying this about your son? What mother wouldn't feel no way? Imagine if I was sitting here talking about Sage. To somebody and Sage got it. Would she let her come out? house? No. I'm going to feel like you don't like my son because you don't like his mother. Mm -hmm. And there's females out here that's like that. She could pretend with you that she like our son. Because you're the father. Of course she want to impress you. Of course she wants you to think that she loves Duda. But the reality of it is that when you sit one day and you think about this shit by yourself and one day you really see, you know ain't tripping. No. I sent you every text message. Every Nobody message. Nobody that really loves your son to sit there and say, oh, he don't call his son and you mad as fuck and he never will? My son was hurt when you went to jail. What the fuck type of real woman says that? My son was affected by that shit. I had to deal with that. Just like now, my son want to go here and play this. Yeah, he mad, he got to leave. He wouldn't have to leave if you if you control your household. Right. You as a father, you can say, oh, you supposed to trust me. But you but you trust her though. And I don't, and that's the problem. Because you can leave my son with her, and now something can magically, oh, something happened by a mistake. And because you love her, you're going to believe that mistake. And I can't take that kind of effort. I promise you. Because when people I hate you, promise much, you they'll do anything to hurt you. And if somebody do something to my son, I don't mind going to jail. You know that. She know that. We know that. Do I want you to be a father? Absolutely. I don't. That's her and Duda. I never want to hurt my son. When he had to go with you today, I was mad. I didn't want him to go with you. That's me being real as a mother. But like my grandmother said, all I can do is pray and ask God to keep my son covered while he's in the arms and, and with people that hate me. Because y'all y'all hate me. I don't know what you all are to have to. I don't trust you no more. I used to let you take Duda and I used to trust you. Because I'd be like, Marvin, because I don't trust you no more. Because look at how you still don't believe the stuff that I'm telling you and you see the proof in your face. You see this girl saying, what? Mom, you know it's bigger than it's bigger than hitting. Verbal verbal abuse is is, is worse than physical. So, um, Somebody could see her, her saying that my son stole her debit card. Her saying that my son mother woke on a machine laughing about like come on now. But Mom, so it's never gonna come a point like you said that's your wife, right? It's never gonna come a point where do that. So you're gonna just co-parent and you just always gonna just be you and your son and your wife. It's never gonna be involved. It's not even realistic. If she can't respect me as Duda's mother, it's sad that he he knows it is. I'm real with my son now. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend you even like they jump me. I let mad shit slide on the strip of Duda. You know that already. I never thought that I, I let shit be with shit with grown ups. But when you start talking about my son and you start saying Duda is disrespectful, he be saying you guys, my, my son character not like that. My son is uh, the well manner. I might have did a lot of shit as a mother. Like that's another thing. Like all jokes aside, my nigga. Like I know my son, bro. I've been home for a little minute, but not at one given time. Even when I first started dealing with Janelle and with Gray, dude, around him, he never once ever fixed this moment that that's not my mother. Cause I don't raise him like that. So when people, she said it. <laughs>
Mom, she sat here and told you that me and her had no gay girl. She just sat and lied to you see the messages. She said I was lying. Come on now. Like, this is the same pattern. She sat here and said, I'm always lying. I'm always making up stuff. Just like, oh, I made your daughter. I was in court because I said, I made your daughter. It's always something to make it seem like Nunu is delusional, and Nunu's not delusional. This ain't made up. She know what it is when I came over. She was cooking for me and everything. Like, I don't like the fake shit. Be real and say, yes, Nunu. We did have that. That's in the past. Mar was in jail. Maybe she was vulnerable. Ain't like you was out here fucking niggas. You was cooking his great mother. He tried trying to put it on me like I like you. You asked, can you give me that? I said no. I, like it's stupid. You you like to get sidetracked because you don't like the truth. Take like that part. The fact of the matter is that you can stay here. No, we don't keep revisiting nothing because you're you. This is recently. Somebody is saying that your son. You see the text messages. This girl that said your son stole her debit cards and was sending them to me. Drink it and pick that up. It don't even matter. This is what Janelle do, just like she said, I made your daughter and it never happened. This is what she do. It seems like you don't get it. Like she took your son's fucking iPad. Her address, the 532 Howard address, you know who address that is. You know who live over here. We not about to play dude. Nobody, can play I buy a mom? Like, Nobody saying nothing. We go for them my phone. Yanni just said to you, yeah, she took it. You know why you took it? Because you was deleting all your news. Stop making it up like I'm lying, like me and you wasn't talking on that level, because I can't know that. I'm not saying Marv, leave your girl, but just know it got to be respect. Stop acting like me and you wasn't talking. You came over my house and everything. Like, we, you were coming over, I was coming over to yours. Like, this stupid shit. I'm real about my shadow. I don't even make this up. It okay. got to be respect, girl, so it's going to go like this. I'm not going to play the rest, because I feel like, you know, okay? So, when they try to paint this narrative... Oh, I'm jealous, I'm mad, I'm angry. You can't. Everything that I said on this video is what I addressed to his dad, as you hear. And this is why I recorded it, because they like to lie. Um, They like to lie. This is what they do. Um, So that's why I recorded them. They both was on the phone. She lied, telling him we never text. We never heard nothing. We, and I sent him every single text message of me and her texting, her acting to do stuff to me. And he still chooses to believe. That's how I know he's, he's on Voodoo 9 right now. He is, has witchcraft on him because um, he's far gone. He don't even realize it. That's probably why he proposed because he probably, the spirit probably mean. That's <laughs> fair. I was like, yeah, because y'all know me. I like to play in jokes. But the spirit probably made him do that, y'all. The spirit, you, you don't even know what's going on. I don't want to never play with God. Make somebody love me or, or marry me or I like make him. And y'all know, like this serious to me. So all jokes aside, <laughs> all jokes aside, like this right here has been traumatic. I had to pray on this. I knew this for a while now. Um, like I said, this this, this has been a, a journey. Um, God is good by his stripes. I am already healed. Like I said, in the, as you heard in the audio, you know, I can't make this up. These have been things that I've addressed to his dad and he chose to take the other road. And when you take the other road on mine, you know, we don't want no parts to that. I can't afford, you remember what I said? I can't afford to take that hell as a mother. Because something that magically happened, we might be cooking rice and beans. And now, oh, oh, he passed away in his sleep or because you're that evil. And I can't afford that kind of hell. Because th that's what happens. The fathers be trusting the girlfriends. Do the others be so wrapped up in these relationships. They be trusting a girlfriend. And then it look like, oh, you the bitter rain mother. You the bad one. Nah, I'm not bitter. I'm not mad. Um, like, I'm disgusted. That you'll go this type of extent. You'll go this road to harm me. To try to harm my child. But one thing you got to know is maybe my son got a praying mother. And we gonna pray through everything. So yeah, the weapon may have formed, but it didn't prosper. I'm gonna need you to know that. God is bigger than anything. So, I mean, I know you're gonna be upset right now. Anybody wanna go play with like 50 dolls or whatever you do. Just know that you gotta answer to God as a woman. You, you have to. You have to answer to God and you have to repent. You have to know, you know what you did. You know what you've done. Deep down inside, you know what you did. You could pretend for his dad. 
You can pretend for social media. You can pretend for the world, but you know who you can't pretend? You can't pretend to God. God sees everything. He sees everything. So when you thought you got away, culture. Because, see, I'm one of God's favorites. That's why I'm still here. Lung disease, COVID twice, heart failure. Everything that was sent to destroy me, a deadly disease. They said most people don't live past three years. Everything that was sent to destroy me. God was building me up. And when we fall, and here we are. But you have to live with what you did. And you have to believe and know that karma is real. You can't sit up here praising God and you're working for the devil. God sees through everything. And you know what you did. Like I said, you could fool his dad. I challenge you to go to church, though, if you're watching. I pray that you wake up one day. Because it's really sad that a little boy is being affected by this. And all I told him was to check his shorty. I didn't want my son being discussed. Check your shorty. You can't even check your household. That's how, how who were the pants? If I'm a man, it's no way you sitting here telling me anything about you can't be talking about my son, disrespecting my child. This girl, I done showed him messages of her, of her disrespecting his son, and you went and married her after that. You really got the spirit inside of you. You don't even realize the spirit proposed, okay? You need to wake up before it's too late. And then we'll be sitting here like, damn, I wish he would have listened to me. I try to tell him. She don't like your child. How could you lay next to somebody every night knowing they don't like your child? Oh, because she pretends. She acts like she feels bad because you don't see your child. She loves that you don't see your child. That makes her day that you don't see your child. People pretend well. You always got to remember that the devil was once an angel. People pretend well. She pretends that she loves him, of course, so you could believe that she loves him and you guys are a family and all this and all that. No, she hates him. She hates his mother. She feel like we was here first. And it's something, I don't know what she believes in her head, but she knows a woman in intuition never lies. So I said all I have to say, it's sad that somebody, somebody so close, somebody that pretends they love my child, and I'm supposed to feel safe when he goes with his dad. And I can't even feel safe. But the first thing you want to do is bring me to court. Knowing my situation. Knowing what I'm going through. Instead of having a... Because I have reasons why. I showed this man screenshots. So you want to send me to court. As I'm fighting for my life. I'm, I'm battling with all this stuff. You want to send me to court. Pretend like you want to fight for your son. Or just to hurt me. When you could have just... Co-parent, you're not on child support, I don't bother you, nothing. You could have just did what I asked you to do. Don't have my son around this girl. Your relationship with your son, you can't go pick your son up for four hours and just be with you and your son. Nah, she got to be there. That's weird. He's a little boy. Why she always got to be there? As soon as he come in the car, he's telling me, yeah, he has girlfriend around. Like, come on now. I asked you for two things and you failed as a father. So before you go make another status, trying to prove that I'm not, you can't, this audio can't lie. This, this audio is real. And what's the date? Because let's make sure, let's, 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 you know, what's the date on this? The date is December 2nd, 2023. So this is not made up. This is the truth. This is my truth. This is, you know, part of, you know, what's going on. And it's just sad that it got brought to this. And it's just sad that you'll sit there and you just laying with a witch. And I just pray that you snap out of it one day. I really pray that, you know. You go get some type of healing, you go get some oil, and you get away from her. Because she's dangerous. And as much as you may think that she's for you and all this stuff, she's not. They play with those dolls, they play with those whatever they did. But listen, ladies, protect your kids at all costs. Like, once you go against mine, father, mother, whoever you are, I'm going to protect my kids against anybody. Because there's so many fathers out here that's killing their kids. There's so many mothers, stepmothers, all these people that is killing their kids. Just because they're angry. 
And I don't want nobody to harm my child just to hurt me so bad. They want to see me hurting. People will do anything to see you hurt. Protect your kids at all costs. I don't care who it is. Protect them. My kids stay home with me. They stay with me. To go out there and do witchcraft, to go out there and play with some dolls and voodoo and all this stuff to try to do something to make me and my child die? That's deep. That's deep. Ain't that much hate in the world, man. And that junk crazy because his dad over there laid up. Don't even know what's going on. Can't see his child. Took his child off his page. And don't even realize that he got this spirit all over him. So, you know, all you could do is, like like I said, I will never address this again. This was not for me to be drama, not baby mama drama. This is serious to me. She went and played with something to get my son killed. My son was sick constantly. And we couldn't figure out what was wrong and what was going on. Both of us. Me. My illness. As much as y'all been watching my journey to know that this lady had put witchcraft on me and my son. Like I said, I'm grown. I can hold my own. But you wouldn't put it on my son? He a baby. He's innocent. But you love his father? And that's why you always on your page, always stressing how much you want a son. You can't wait to give his dad a son. So all the, like that's weird to me. This is his first son. His only son. And that bothers you. So like that, y'all gotta live with this. Y'all gotta sleep at night, and y'all gotta sit there. One day, I pray that my son's father. So I pray that he wakes up and he really sit back and think like, "Dang, she can't be making all this up. She this something gotta click. Something gotta make sense. Come on now, I what like? I'm not mad. What am I mad about? And if I am mad, I'm mad that somebody did witchcraft on my child. And that's the only reason why I'm addressing this situation because you did it on my baby. And the, the least I could do is make a video to expose y'all, to let people know what type of people y'all are. So y'all can stop going on social media saying that I'm bitter, saying that I'm angry, saying that I'm mad. Y'all try to paint these narratives like I won't let you see your child. Y'all don't respect me. Y'all don't respect my child. Y'all laughed about me being sick, telling me to go take my medications and my son heard everything and he no longer wants parts of y'all. So may God be with y'all and have mercy on y'all soul. Because remember, you could pretend for the world, you could pretend for the people around you, but you could never, ever pretend to God. You can't pretend for God. He sees everything. So you know what you did, because I know you're watching. Just know, the weapons may have formed, but they didn't prosper. Have an amazing night, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for coming on this journey, being on this journey with me. It hasn't been easy. You know, my God is bigger. God is amazing. God is good. You know, God gets me through every battle, everything that the enemy sent to destroy me. All the pieces that was broken, God used them to build me up. So I thank you guys for being on this journey with me. And just like I said, protect your kids at all all costs. Protect yourself. It's people out there that really hate you. People out there, just stay prayed up. Just always trust God. Because had I not trust God, had I not been walking with God, I wouldn't even be here right now to tell my story. So again, I thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. You already know when you're rocking with your girl, we keep it nothing but what? Real!